right back into the solo key here. Um, let's go for our Outback. I'd imagine the other team bands like Emerald Plains, maybe Theme Park. We've already gotten Outback once this season in the solo queue. And we've only played like a handful of matches so far, so... I want to get that again. Yeah, they did. Hey, got Oregon. Got the best map there for sure. I think we played Oregon once already too, so far. But, never could mind that. Oregon's actually getting removed from the comp map pool next season as well. Or layer. I'm excited to see that in Pro League in about like a week or so. I always uh, try to keep up with that. Also, I banned the Montane here. I don't like going against Montane. That's what my go-to ban has been like the last like week now or two. It's been going to Montane every time. I'm fine with Dokabi being up, obviously. I can play her. They banned nothing, okay. One of those kind of teams. And then Jackal's like not too annoying, girl. I don't really roam too heavy. Um, and if I do, Jackal's not the best. I feel like Deimos, if anything, is more annoying sometimes. It's like live pings. Um, let's get the mirror out of there. I don't want to go against that. We got defense first, but... Yeah. They actually banned nothing, too, I just noticed. So I guess they're all just AFK. I thought they were just going to ban, like, no attackers since they're attacking first, but... Whole team's AFK. That's a good sign, I guess. Just going by their names. I think they're a stack, but not sure. Do I just hop on the Malusi here, the classic for this site? I feel like I can never go wrong doing that. I'm just seeing what the team's bringing, though. That's my thought process here. We have a Goyo that's kind of like traps. Echo, we got a lot of intel. So yeah, I'll take the Malusi. Nobody else's. We need at least like a Malusi or a Legion, I feel like, for the site. Or like some barb, like two sets. Peeking it, he's peeking it, peeking it, peeking it. No. Yeah, whatever that room is. Inside. Four before. Show you my go-to Malusi spots though on this site. I think I played her last time we were here actually. Alright, I guess they want to do that setup. I don't know how I feel about this in a real match, but more of like a 1v1 site setup. It works though. I think I said this just in my last video too, like whatever the team wants, man. If they feel more comfortable with a different setup, then it's fine. I can adjust to it, so I'd rather them pick. I don't know why I didn't finish this wall. So yeah, I used my first two Malusi traps to like right on the site walk-ins. That rotate. Um. Um, I'll just put my last Malusi here in the rotate, I guess, for later. If they push it to the kids rotate, that'll work. I do want to go down here. No way somebody's in, right? Somebody just hit my Malusi. Well, that's a free kill. I don't know what that guy's doing. Good thing we have the Goyo on the white door to get him out of there. Why wow, that's a good Malusi spot too. They don't expect it, and then they're at the top of the stairs, and it's too late. I feel like I heard one down here. I'm just gonna hold white from below right now. 
That's a plant sound. Is that guy prone in that corner? Okay, done now. Gotta be careful of a lurk. I feel like they're both gonna push this though. I know the fuse is there. I think thermite was breached. Yeah. I did not think he was going to swing that. Okay, he's going to play passive now, 2v1. That's his head, man. I seen him crouch walking up there at like the pixel. I didn't think he'd peek this, though. Wasn't even like leading the right way. That's why I didn't see him, I guess. Whatever. 1v1. Planting. Does the goy win this? And kids, he's like behind the red thing, I think, right there. You can see his feet. Okay, that works. That was scaring me a little bit that he wasn't like shooting him. I thought Fuse was about to delete him, but he did not. Stuff Goya. Man, I didn't know Fuse was pushed in there too. They just keep like pushing me. I, I don't think they're able to because we have teammates alive, but they just get in. Goy wasn't really watching anything in the 3v2 there. He got the job done though on the end, so staying alive is the best thing to do. I shouldn't even like peek that pixel. I thought I could get his head, but I seen the pixel like go by, then I just died before I could see him again. Just perspective. You don't want to be too close to the doorway like that, holding angles. I'll talk about that all the time, but of course I died to it. Okay, I like the warden here. Got that taken. I'm just gonna go Ella. Get like some traps everywhere, pretty much. Surely they can make rotate. It's got like Doc, Malusi, Malusi pistol, by the way. And then the Warden shotgun. I'll just reinforce some and then throw my traps down, pretty much. I did shoot a small hole there in the freezer door because I don't want my. He may still double reinforce that for some reason. So it does happen in rank sometimes. But it's here for the deep walk. Okay, we got all this set up. That's good. Malusi deep. I'll put the barb up here. That way they have to cross down. They'll be stuck in the bar by the time they're hitting it. It turns ran to the wall because it wasn't looking. That's why. I do have an Ella mine. I'm gonna keep that in my pocket for now, though. Just checking for pre-placed drones and tower. I do like kind of chilling up here at the start of the round for anybody pushing back here. Half the time they won't even drone up top, and you can get a free kill when they walk through. Huge first pick. Okay, Valk and Malusi are also roaming. I'll keep that in mind. And two on site. One of them goes down. I gotta go back. I'm thinking they might rotate up here if the bunker push isn't working out. Like they'll rotate late up to small tower. They might just be committing though. I'm gonna come back. Everybody's back in sight, but they're all falling like flies. I shouldn't have swung that. He wasn't out of ammo yet. Nobody got my trade. I was kind of only, like, the only person back there, I should say, on Bunker. I don't know where my team went. I was not expecting the Flores, I think that was. Yeah, Flores they have. 
to just fly in like that. That was bad trigger discipline though for me. Oh, I could try. Bad aim. Okay, that works. <laughs> What's happening right now? Yeah, I didn't think Flores would just run in like that though, so bad trigger discipline. I shouldn't have shot. Ace knew I was on the door at that point. And he has a better gun, obviously. I just race swung, hoping he wasn't going to expect it. Maybe reloading or something, but he had gun up. It's okay that we can get this size still. 2 1. 2 1 will be fine. I think I'm just going to take the war in here. Nobody else is. Got the cap can now. I like that. I like the Aruni. Pretty much just bring some traps to slow him down so I don't have to bring Ella. I haven't been liking Ella's gun recently. I was loving it before for the longest time, and just recently, maybe because I don't use it much. I don't know. It is just a pea shooter, though. You have to headshots with it. You don't have to, I guess, but. Also, we should reinforce both these walls. I've seen we had footholes for some reason last time. I don't know if that's the play. I see a lot of people doing that in ranked for some reason, but... If you put footholes on this, you can't set the uh, tarps, really. Because they can just get the hatch and then shoot the wall open. Because it's soft still. And they can wall bang you all the way out from bunker. You can't really play tarps. I don't, I don't know what a Rooney's doing there, but okay. I like 50 drones flying through there. I'm like, what? I go for one drone, there's like two more coming behind me. Nice first pick. That Bravo thought, too. They even shoot front cam. I think they're all pushing either back here or west. At least two back here. Another drone. They are pre-firing everything. I might have a drone in the stomping drone hole right behind me, like the stomping spot. He kept getting on and off. This was the Brav out there. Well, I was making sure not to expose to that when I finished the kill. Nice team. I think that was a 3v4 technically there. Good aim. That Bravo was out there the entire round. I don't know what her plan was. Maybe should have, like, pushed in with the ace to get the refrag, but hey. Okay, I kind of wanted the ash for this. It's going to be the upstairs side, but I don't need it. There are other ops I can play. If I wanted to, even, I could play ace. I do like ace on this side because I can go for the wall myself. Obviously a great gun, and I still got the claymores that I like having here. If you haven't watched me before, like, the last few times I've played this map at least in ranked. I've been doing this for a bit now, but I always put some ghost pressure on west and then come over to the master balcony and go for the wall. 
or help a teammate getting the wall. Usually I go Ash so I can get the stuff off below in classroom. So I'm hoping either my teammate helps me with that or they just don't have wall denial because otherwise this could be chalk. Going hard breach and solo queue is always a risk if your teammates don't want to help you. Always the goal in lesson two for me, never rely on your teammates. I don't care who you got, it's just not a good thing to do. In solo queue, you just gotta rely on yourself. Treat it like it's a 1v5 and it'll go a lot better for you. That guy's going for a spawn pick for sure. I like keeping my drone right here in the drone hole though. This way I can see if anybody's trying to like spawn peek this side. Sometimes I can get a free kill off if they don't see the drone. They usually don't. Some people do check it. Yeah, there's the spawn peak right here. Nice, that's him. Okay, let me shoot big window open. Always do this first. You can always come back here later where a teammate can. Looks like sledge is going up there. 5v3. I always claim more of this too so they can't jump out white window because I do like opening this too for pressure. That way they can't like play around the bottom white. Nice, already getting all the cams it looks like. Do so they have wall denial? Doesn't matter, it looks like 5v2. Okay, they don't. Let me just get this. I'll show you guys how I open this wall. You want to shoot that one so then you can make head holes on the right side. And it's going to be like a walkable, like a thermite charge on the left, basically. Even if it gets my drone, but everybody's dead. Come on, don't kill me yet. Let me get my plant points. Oh, no. Okay, we got him. Gonna pick the head holes. There he is. They got a Tachanka. I thought that would be like a cap can or a zombie when I heard that gun. Tachanka's a choice. I got my plant points and I got a, another set of points for getting a kill, so I'll take it. Going above and beyond with it. Yeah, this team's pretty much been like one player getting all the kills for them, unfortunately, for them. Um, no complaints for me, though. I love when I don't have to get that many kills. I can just play like some support, hard breach, and sit back and get a free win. Don't let me jinx it now, though. Now we're about to lose. If you've been watching my solo queue this season so far, like the last week or two, you'll see that uh, no lead is safe, basically. I'll always have nightmares on the Outback game. That has never happened to me. I won't spoil it, but it was the first game of the season for me on this, and jeez, man, it was rough. Moving on from that, though, they have an Echo this round and a Castle, okay. Figured they'd go back up here. I'm just going to go the Ace again. Not looking like they have Wall Denial. Last two could easily be like a Mute or Kate or something, but... If it is, I can always just go somewhere else, too, at the end of the day. I could even go, like, yeah, they do have a bandit, okay. I could even try to, like, throw an ace. You can throw one from the classroom window, as long as it's not muted, obviously. And it can destroy bandit charges, so I'll try that. I just want the head holes on my breach. Okay, I can't shoot that open, either. Don't want to use an ace charge on that. That's all open. I'm playing Armory again. What is this castle? Okay, I'm gonna use one on this, I think. Then I'll use one in the classroom, and then I'll try to get the wall here. Yeah. Even if it's just a vaultable hole in the breach, it's something. Should be good enough. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. Just whatever, chalk it at this point. Stop on the repel here. Come 
want to trust though could be here she's in sight with me still please cover you in already I did not know he was big window. He's with that doe could be the whole time. I wasn't even looking at that. Come on. He's trying to bait me. Yep. He has no time. Let's go. Easy one like that. Just got to play the post plant right. I got a little bit scary. I couldn't get on the upside down repel very fast, but I got there at least in the end. Technically, I didn't even have to get upside down. I just felt safer like that. But I just went lower. He had to jump out on me, and obviously there wouldn't have been time for him to get back up. GG though, anyways. Yeah, I didn't know that guy was big window already somehow, because I thought Dokabi would be watching that. He was in sight like the whole time then. Dokabi was fighting for her life over there. She could have just ran away, to be honest, though. GG, though, teammates. A little 6-2 and two for us on the light. Some very light for my standards so far this season. Clutched up when it mattered, though. I think one of the defense rounds, too, was like a 3v4. So, some good clutches in this one. It's going to be the bronze 4. Again, we've only played, like, I think this is, like, our 6th match or something. 7th. Uh, I'll show you the advanced stats, obviously. I, I think I'll play another. Still 105, though. Should be over 100 until at least, like, platinum or something. Usually it is for me, because I win most of my games early on. To be expected. I know the season's also winding down already, but... Oh, did not mean to do that. I wanted to show the advanced stats. I did start very late the season. Yeah, 6-2. and two, That's what I thought. So 75% win right now. We won five straight after the uh, very interesting start we had. 3.7 KD if you care about that. But yeah, it's been a good first eight matches. Let's try to get another good one. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be a video really. I wasn't talking too much. I was saying like a few things here and there, but I just got the easiest one of my life basically for uh, I had three kills. The other team was basically just team killing the entire game. So, I mean, hey, I'll take a literal free win. I don't know what they were doing. I'm not going to try to find another one, though. This game took me like five minutes or more to find on the queues. I had to re -queue like twice, so I'm not even going to try. That's the uh, bronze three, though. <laughs> the freakest win of my life, man. I think I only seen people like two rounds. I got one kill, then one round I got two. When they couldn't team kill each other anymore, they had to play. So, uh, I don't know what just happened. I'll probably show like some clips of it really fast. Don't want to go too crazy with that though, because that was a freebie. If I've ever seen one. Again, I'll take something like that though, considering some of the games I've had this season with my teammates earlier on. I'll show you the advanced stats, I guess. Technically, that brought my KD down. I went 3-1. Because I, uh, I was, like, jumping around outside. I was doing some crazy stuff the last round when I died, but... Somebody was just baiting. 7-2, and two, though. 78% win rate. Won six games in a row now, so... I guess next time we'll look to keep that up. If you did enjoy this one, though, leave a like down below. It'll really help me out a lot. Thanks for all the support you guys have been showing the last couple weeks since I've been back making my videos. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, I can't wait to get the next one up for you guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.